And welcome this evening, folks. Here we are with the championship game of the VSSAA School Sports Senior Boys Championship between the King George Dragons and the Gladstone Gladiators. We are at Sir Charles Tupper, the newest school in the Vancouver school system. Opened in 1959 and named after the sixth Prime Minister of Canada from Amherst, Nova Scotia, and a father of Confederation, Sir Charles Tupper. Here in beautiful East Vancouver, Mid-Main, Mount Pleasant. And we have Gladstone in black and King George in teal. So we got a color on color uniform matchup here. And the Dragons and the Gladiators set to go here. Our officials tonight are Jay Vinuela and Gino Bondi. And taking the opening tip off is Adam Spano of King George. And the Dragons are, once again, as we said, in teal. The jump shot to open the scoring max. Aztec wearing number one for King George. The Dragons are coached by Darko Kulik and the Gladiators by Ankar Hare. Helmy for Gladstone, bounce pass inside and it's Ruben Inami scoring for Gladstone. So we are tied at two. That was very, very, very good execution. Aztec for the Dragons. Finds an open Palmer Curry, that one strong and the rebound taken by the Gladiators. Jordan Hare wearing number nine and we are experiencing a very, very good start between these two teams. It's 5-2 for Gladstone. The Dragons are going to find themselves in trouble if Hare continues in that vein. He's one of the finer players, as well as Aztec for the Dragons, two of the finer players in the province. Loose ball for King George, but it's retained by the Dragons. Spano spins to his left, goes baseline, and draws the foul. Beautiful footwork. King George coming into this game with a semifinal win over McGee and Gladstone beating uh, the Tupper Tigers in their semifinal. Spano at the foul line, first shot does not go. Second shot on the way and in and out. So unlucky there for the Dragons. No points on that trip down the floor. Gladiators are 18 and seven over the course of the season. One of the best seasons in quite a while for Gladstone. If our research is correct, this is the first time they have played in the city finals since 1974. Hare from a long, long range, and in fact, he was strong on that shot. Rebound controlled by King George. That was Spano with the board, and Aztec now with possession. He'll fire away from three, no good. And Hare, quick outlet pass. Roland missing on the layup, and I think King George will slow the play down here. So Zuluaga wearing number 12. Hayer with Gladstone pulling up in transition for three wide to the left. How do you feel about that shot as a coach? Well, I mean, I, it, he, he's their leader. He's, he, he's got, you know, he, he just drained that first one. Missed the next two, but I mean, this is, you know, your leader takes the initiative. Gladstone playing well. They've got another turnover. It's got to chin the basketball there. You just can't leave it out. Curry steals the ball back for King George. It's Zuluaga now inside nice. the layup. Good for the Dragons. And they... Beautiful feed. They are down by one. The uh, scoreboard kind of put the points up on the wrong side for one second. But it is 5-4 to four in favor of Gladstone. Another three. Another long three. And that ball... Wide that, to the right. That, that was Roland who just 
He lit Tupper up on Wednesday evening. And there he is with the loose ball at the end of that play. The lay-in attempt strong, and the rebound knocked out of bounds, staying with Gladstone. I don't know if the mics are sensitive enough to catch some of the funnier comments <laughs> from the benches. Having a little discussion with Gino Bondi, the official, the two coaches, Hare and Gulak. So not quite sure what the issue is, but there is a handshake at center court. Okay, there we go. We're settled. Gladstone inbound, Gladstone in black, leading five to four. And Roland is open for three off target. Well, I was going to say, you know, the, the first couple of possessions, the Dragons were in a man-to-man, -man, which they never did. But then they just, now they just fell back into that two-three zone. And three ball, good. King George back in the lead, Palmer Curry. Is Number three with the three. That Curry? I hope so. I, I called his name. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's just my thing. <laughs> and now the King George bench getting louder and louder after forcing that turnover. Zuluaga. Curry again for three. That time... Doesn't fall wow. through. Outstanding transition. They just. Hair. We're going to work the ball deeper into this uh, shot clock here in this possession. And now on the sideline, it's a turnover. Helmy could not keep the ball inbound on that pass. 7-5, King George ahead. Approaching the midway mark of this first quarter. Aztec looks to drive, spins to his left, handoff inside, Spano makes the layup. So a four-point lead for King George halfway through quarter number one. No rotation there for the Gladiators. Came to help. Two teams fighting for the Vancouver City championship at the 2A, 3A level. Three ball hoisted up, but way short. Not sure if that was partially blocked, but King George comes out with it, and they will run their offensive set in the half court. Curry looked at a shot, spins at the foul line, rolls that shot in. Very confident on offense, the Dragons are. Their execution's outstanding. Hayer over to Helmy, that shot too much on it. I think we might see a timeout here real soon. If they score here, I think the Gladiators need to have a little talk. Spano, oh, oh a foul oh. from behind. Coach's nightmare. Completely blocked and he just saw the, but that, that is a good note for young players. The referee's got to call it. He sees the hand go down. We can see here he didn't touch his arm at all. He just was all ball. But what the referee saw was the hand coming down and the ball coming out. So Tran called for the foul. Triple is short from Curry. And here come the Gladiators. Helmy. Ooh. Nice inside pass on the cut, but shot not close to the rim and the King George. I think Gladiators were looking for some contact there. 3.44 to go in the first quarter. Curry pass faked and Ooh. lays it in. Slicing through that Gladiators defense. Very nice. So it's a 13 to five lead for King George. Three and a half minutes on the clock here in the first quarter. Roland, top of the Three-point arc, no good. And Zuluaga comes down with the rebound. Gladiators started off so strong, and they've been scoreless for the past six minutes. Sorry, the past seven minutes. Rebound, 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 
Helmy now trying to break that drought. And Hayer just short on that lay and grabs his own offensive board, makes the putback. Outstanding. His uh, talent and determination on that play. 13 to seven, his team trails by two possessions. Spano outside the paint here, looks at a three and nails it. A big guy, three certainly gets head coach Kulich going there on the bench with a couple of windmills. Nice. Oh, goodness. Nothing going right for the Gladiators tonight. Rolling with that nice play, but just the execution not quite there at the end. Aztec. Curry again. That one no good. Rolling with the ball. Gets past one defender. Looking to go left. Inside. Nice cut. And it's going to be... Inami for the lay-in. Now that's what we, we saw Gladstone do to the Tigers last night in the fourth quarter over and over again. Penetration and just dropped the ball. In wide open man for a layup. Draw the defender. And Curry, that shot was from really far out too. <laughs> Hair. Tran, baseline, pass out to the three-point line. Now, little runner, no good from Roland. Roland, I mean, he lit Tupper up last night, and he just can't get anything to drop for himself. So Gladstone may be trying to do its best to hang on here until the breaks go their way. Curry, the basket and the foul. So we got a minute five left on the clock here in the first quarter. Curry, a chance to make this a 10 point lead for King George. Dragons leading 18 to nine and gets the bounce. And now a 19 to nine lead for the team in Teal. Okay, they've, Gladstone's got to get a score here. Here, hands off to Roland. Helmy to the hoop, oh. overshoots the rim. Just, they just can't get a break. So now Aztec and the Dragons a chance to add to their double digit lead here. Curry in the Spano. Has the ball knocked into the air and taken by Tran. Nice defensive stop for Gladstone Hayer, working against Aztec, Roland. Stack back out towards midcourt. Hare, 12 on the game clock. Hare still near center, being checked by Aztec. And on the foul line, Helmy throws the ball. Last touched by King George. There was a tip. And so four on the game clock. And a sub in for Gladstone, Pasqua, wearing number 11. Four seconds left. Ooh. Ooh. And Hayer trying to get the pass back, but uh, not quite connecting there on that play. Three seconds. We'll see if there's a dramatic finish to this first quarter. Aztec. No time uh, for a shot there. Aztec throws one up anyway, doesn't go through, and it's 19 to nine here at the end of the first quarter in this VSSAA 2A AAA Senior Boys Championship game in basketball. Uh, while we're in the, the break, I'd like to uh, thank some of our sponsors. Uh, first off, Isabel Dunlop Clothing, 4158 Main Street. Can't find that special something for that special one? Isabel Dunlop is one of Canada's premier designers, and her shop on 4158 Main Street. Pop in there, pick up a gift certificate. You're done for Valentine's Day, gentlemen. You're all set to go. 
Isabel Dunlop, uh, been featured in Vogue magazine, and it's right here in our own little community of East Vancouver, Mid-Maine. From there, I'd like to thank Nick Caligaros Real Estate. Nick is a graduate of Tupper, has been a real estate agent for almost 30 years in the Mid-Maine area, and just look for uh, Nick at Remax Real Estate. Last, I'd like to thank the people who organized all of this for us, and that is Athletic Director Harp Sohi for the Vancouver School Board Athletic Director and Paul Hughes and Elisa Wong, the Tupper Athletic Directors. And let's not forget Sports Canada for um, broadcasting this webcast or filming, so on. Absolutely. A uh, lot of kind of last-minute juggling to get all these games on the air for you so we hope that you are able to uh, enjoy it and make some memorable moments here as the two teams are back on the floor rolling looking out to Helmy good oh, there we go that's what they needed coming, just coming needed the break, the break. Yep. Yeah. needed the break that seal on that saran wrap on the, on the over the rim. And now time to oh, get oh, a stop oh, if oh. you're Gladstone. Zuluaga. Uh, oh, don't. Oh. oh, Hare saves it back into play. King George retains possession. Aztec for three. No good. Uncontested rebound for Gladstone. And we talked about that in the first game this evening. It's yep. just going, the, you, can't, you can't not like the hustle, but if he would have let it go, it was King George. But they came up with it anyway, yep. so you got to <laughs> love the hustle. You gotta love the hustle. Curry. Zuluaga oh. steps to his side, That's throws off. up a oh, three. Oh, no box out. Oh. Reverse layup. Kill a coach. On oh. the end of that ball, and King George back up by nine. You got the, that's their ball. You've got to box out. That's just giving them two points. So Upple getting the offensive rebound and the score. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, lovely backdoor, great pass. Hare converts there on the end of that pass. Zuluaga trying to reply and his shot goes over the backboard on the, on the bounce. Gladstone coming up with it, rolling to Hare. The ball seems to be in Hare's hands for <laughs> at least 50% of the time. And if it's not in his hands, it's in Roland's hands. And nice. That's, that's why it's in his hands. A beautiful pass to the baseline and the finish made by Gladstone. Gladiators down by five. Ruben Inami scoring there. It's a two-possession game again here for the Gladiators down 21-16. Well, and that, you know, they... The Gladiators, I mean, one of them is I am Spartacus. I'm telling you, they're, they're not giving up here. And again, they get another stop. And here will set up, calling for his teammates positioning at the foul line. That's Helmy. And pass, uh. oh, across to Pasqua, and he loses Goodness. control. You, you just can't make those errors in a championship game. My goodness. So three minutes gone in this second quarter. King George ahead, 21-16. No. Curry short on the three. So a stop again for Gladstone and a timeout Ooh. called by King George. Well, I'll try and get some more movie references in. <laughs> okay. I know all, all the kids at home watching or listening or watching this and are thinking to themselves, Spartacus, what's he talking about? Anyway, um, take this opportunity to thank some of our sponsors of the Tupper Nation. Abby's Sports Shop at 4774 Main Street, the oldest sporting goods store in Vancouver, opened over 70 years ago. For all your sporting needs, Abby's Sports Shop. In addition, we like to re thank out to Dave Kwan from East West Market, 4169 Main Street. One of the, the, the just the greatest neighborhood grocery stores you're ever going to find with an impeccable selection and great prices. 
Um, got the greatest staff working there. And again, Dave donates to all of the elementary schools, um, the, um, the, 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 of course, Tupper, the, the secondary school in the neighborhood, a real community guy. And uh, we just like to thank uh, East West Market and Dave Kwan. Coming out of the timeout, Gladiators with the ball and rolling on the floor with Hare, Helmy, Pasqua, and Ruben Inami were number five. King George trying to fire up their team on defense. Rolling open for three. Just wide right rebound. Spano comes up with a loose ball. Curry and Helmy were fighting for that ball in the air. On Wednesday night, Roland was not missing those. Spano gets the pass, penetrates. I, I really like that kid. He, he's, he plays big, and you got to like that. Uh, uh, current players today, everybody's a guard, they think. You know, I blame Magic Johnson for that. Uh, <laughs> everybody's a guard. Zuluaga misses. Spano has hit a three today, though. That's tr that's true. <laughs> And then we have we've we've got Hare, who's the biggest player on Gladstone, is is their point guard. But he he he's he's got such a high basketball IQ, and he, he's his vision is outstanding. His passing is outstanding. We we've seen some spectacular passes from him today. Grade twelve, a six-two guard. The ball is in his hands a lot. Rolling. There, Tell there. Me. Foul line jump shot over Ooh. Spano. Oh, follows his own shot. Nice. So King George did well on the initial shot, but he gets the offensive board and the putback, and it's a three point game. Gladstone down 21 18. Aztec. Curry stepping back beyond the three point line, but strong on that shot. And then Curry, pardon me, that is uh, Apple. Stepping on the end line. Curry started so hot and has really cooled off here. And we are in a one possession game uh, on this uh, another timeout. Well, I, I think this is what we were expecting from these two teams. Uh, they're very evenly matched. Um, I believe it was a seven point game when they played in league play. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, you know, uh, Gladstone's been honorable mention pretty much the entire season. I believe at one point in time they were number 10. Um, and King George has been anywhere between one and three all year long. I believe they're at three at the present moment. And King George, I believe, played St. George's a couple of weeks ago. I yes, I think so. Think they, um, I think they won there too. Yes. So uh, showing off how strong of a team they are, despite uh, their smaller size compared to some of the other schools. We're watching live coverage of the 2A3A Senior Boys Championship game in um, Vancouver Cities. Um, Gladstone actually lost to King George by two and by uh, nine um, so far this year. Those are two of, of Gladstone's um, five losses right. were to King George. So... It is pretty hard to beat a team three times in a year if you're pretty closely matched. Uh, yes, indeed. We'll see if King George can come through in this championship game. Hare, pass into the baseline. Nice, strong move. Helmy. Into the foul line, Pasqua. Back to... Here for three, the rebound, Spano. Thought that was going to go. <laughs> it looked good. So King George also has number five, Carriage, on the floor. Zuluaga, lots of room and fine space inside to make that layup. Was able to build a head of steam there through the paint. 23-18. Dragons back up by two possessions. 
Roll in, another three on the way. That time he gets it to fall. So it's 23 for King George, 21 for Gladstone. King George with the ball. 4-11 left in the period. Cross-court pass intercepted. Roland. My goodness. Roland speeding his way to the Boy, hoop. I was going to put the Jets on. Holy. Gets that shot to go. you you got to love a player that's got a second gear like that. Yeah. You can really go. Man. He's tied the game at 23. Aztec, Zuluaga. Over his defender. Oh. Then falls oh, rebound. We mentioned this earlier, boxing out. Goodness, somebody has got to get a body on somebody. Well, I think Gladstone played that initial shot well, but yeah, couldn't quite adjust. So Tran comes back in for Pasqua. For you younger players out there, that, that, that is a prime example of you just don't jump to rebound. You've got to meet, greet, box out, get a man on your back, and then go get the basketball. Gives his team a three-point lead as he finishes that playoff. Hair. Now to Anami oh. missing on that layup. They executed that play you know, just about perfectly. I got gray hair from that one. I'm telling you. Boy, oh boy. I'm only 29, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that, that's just a coach's nightmare. Oh, you got to make those. Aztec will try to make them pay, oh. and they do. And that really is a five-point swing on that. Uh, those two trips up the floor. Absolutely. And it's a six-point lead for King George, 29-23. Hayer, back to Anami, will draw the foul that time. Anami at the foul line for his two shots. This entire Gladstone team is uh, all in grade 12, according to the roster submitted. Yeah, they've come up th through the, the system with Coach Hare. <laughs> 29 to 25. King George leading with the ball. Spano gets a pass at the foul line. Carriage back to Spano. Not a lot of room, but he gets that layup to go. Great body control. And King George ahead 31 to 25. Gladstone with the ball rolling, being guarded very closely by Zuluaga. Hayer against Curry. That's going to be partially blocked. Gladstone can't execute offensively. They'll have to get back on defense. Aztec. Spano. Spano, spin move, hook shot. Doesn't get the bounce. Rebound tipped and quickly outletted. And a great transition layup. Roland gets on the end of that pass and scores. So well, that time you could say that was a big swing. King George unlucky to score and then they immediately get punished on that transition layup. Aztec. Wearing number one, fine Spano. Spano oh, inside. Oh goodness. Carriage. Court vision. Carriage makes that lay in. They just left him all alone. Inami now will draw the foul going up. Out, 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 out. 
So Gladstone will have two shots at the line. First shot is good from Minami. Second one on the way, that one no good. And the rebound, uh, no Gladstone players lined up to contest for it. Uh, Astat, Zuluaga, inside handoff, back around the horn here, Spano, Zuluaga. Curry, inside, Spano, short on the lay-in, and the rebound tipped out, Hare to the hoop. And then on the lay-in, no oh. good as uh, Helmy missing on the layup, but will draw the foul. Oh, I thought it would be Hare at the line. I guess that was the second foul. <laughs> First shot rattles through. Chance to make it a uh, one-score game here. Helmy. Second shot, no good. Score is 33 to 29. King George ahead, looking to add to their lead going into the break. There's uh, basically a one second difference between the game and the shot clock. Six on the shot Ooh. clock. Pass out of bounds. So Gladstone, seven seconds on the scoreboard here, and Helmy will inbound. Four, three, Hare, Helmy, no good, no time left for that shot, and we are going to go into the rake 33 for King George, 29 for Gladstone. Fair amount of contact there. All righty. We're going to take a short break, about uh, eight minutes, eight, nine minutes, and then we'll come back with the second half of this very exciting championship game at the 2A, 3A level of the Vancouver uh, City Championships for senior boys. Gladstone, 29, King George, 33.
And we're back at Sir Charles Tupper Secondary. Exciting second half coming up. Great finish expected. Four point game between King George and Gladstone in the 2A, 3A City Championship for senior boys. It's been a rough year for all schools, all players, coaches, and parents. Games canceled, games rescheduled back and forth throughout the entire year. Many teams only getting to 20 or 21 games even, yep. as opposed to a 32-game schedule. So it is nice to see the teams going through finishing league and then now heading into playoffs. You know, it's really great that uh, the school board has uh, allowed all of these games to be broadcast through Sport Canada. Yep. Shout out to Harp Sohi for that. Paul Hughes and Elisa Wong. So King George with the lead and with the ball to start the second half. Curry. Jumper from the middle of the paint and nothing. That, that, no mistake. That's the way to start a second half. Another backdoor pass for Ooh. Gladstone, but they cannot finish on the end of that play. They turn the ball over, and the Dragons have a chance to put together a really good start here. Scored in the first possession and looking for another here on the second. Aztec down low. Spano, very comfortable lay-in there. And it's an eight-point lead for Gladstone as they start off this half well. And a foul before the shot. And that is going to be a foul on Curry. Michael Roland over to Helmy. Helmy for three. Too much on that shot. And Helmy had, had Helmy had a great game against Tupper last night. Or I should say Wednesday evening. Spano. Big man. Oh, just outstanding footwork. Really great job. And with that, it's going to be a timeout. For Gladstone, they have given up the first six points of this half. And for just about the entirety of this game, they have been coming from behind, playing from behind. And uh, they, I think, got it to one possession. And then it, they went, bound, went down by 10. Mm -hmm. And then now they, they fought back to four. And then now back down by 10. So it, I think it's really just mentally tough to keep doing that in the game. And, and the, the, on Wednesday night against Tupper, um, this was, uh, the, the, it just swayed back and forth, but with large runs by both teams, as opposed to, it seems to be the Dragons who are get the, mm -hmm. the big runs here. And you, having seen them play, it just kind of, when they get some momentum going, and they, they get louder and faster, and it just kind of rolls with, with this team, and they've had so much success over the past few years. Absolutely. Uh, so it's very hard to play against uh, this King George team. and They we'll they made the provincial final a few years ago. Yep. Um, did not win, but, you know, just to get to the final is an accomplishment. So we'll see if the timeout has been able to calm the Gladstone team here. And you hear that King George bench just... Uh, You'd think there were about 150 <laughs> people in here. <laughs> Getting loud. Turnaround oh, jump shot. Beautiful. Again, that, that's hair. He, he's, he's just a dynamic player. And you just don't expect a player to hit that shot consistently. But no mistake on that one. And Aztec trying to lead King George back the other way. Reverse oh. layup high off the oh. glass. Palmer Curry. Inami and then blocked by Spano. He is a force inside. 
So 10 point lead for King George. Zuluaga. Zuluaga. Blocked from, from behind by Hayer, and then now a foul on the loose ball. We'll see who will be called for the foul here. I think they're going to call that a hold on Hayer for Gladstone. Spano, one on one, oh. spins to the hoop, off the glass strong. No Loose box ball. out, oh my goodness. That was Uphall getting the rebound, and King George another opportunity here. Short on that shot, Spano, offensive board. Uphall oh. blocked by Roland, and absolutely clean play there, but I think uh, Uphall is hurt. Hope he's not seriously hurt, but there's going to be a sub in carriage. He, he went down hard. I don't think he hit his head. It looks like he's, he's grabbing his ribs. But that was a clean, oh, yes. clean block. Can only be described as a forceful block. <laughs> It's just too easy th to inbound the ball. They've, they've got to block those cutters. So another two points for Spano. Back the other way, Gladstone, two points and the foul. So and that's going to be a foul on Spano, I believe. And I, that's at least his second, if not his third. So Inami, a nice answer there for Gladstone. There we go. He got him. 43-34 for the Dragons. About three minutes gone in this third quarter. Entry pass to the wing. Back oh. Down a Spano and off of King George. So another defensive stop here for Gladstone. Noise being turned up here by the King George bench. Hayer, no look pass. Inami, oh. reverse layup, it goes. Goodness. Thread the needle with that one. Makes it a seven point game. Just cracking away, just chipping away at that lead. Can they build a bit more momentum? Aztec, a wide open three. Does not go. Hair. Oh my goodness. Shot fake. Gets the defenders in the air. And Gladstone converts. It's Tran. His court vision is outstanding. Five point lead for King George. Was 10 just a couple of moments ago. And now another turnover forced by Gladstone. King George coach Darko Kulic getting his players uh, saying relax. Tell me inside, oh. no call on that play, Inami. Looking for contact, but if the referee doesn't blow it, it's not a foul. Zuluaga's three hits oh. the side of the backboard. Now Helmi, one-on-one -on -one against Aztec, makes the lay-in in, in transition. Go. We got a game. Now it's Gladstone's time to get loud on the bench. Now right. we got some noise in the room. And not a, I don't, if this place was filled with King George and Gladstone fans, I don't think you'd be hearing nope. that's very good. I mean, we've seen it in years past, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. At, at different city championships. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. 
So Gladstone with the momentum right now into this timeout. We're going to uh, say thanks again for to uh, SportsCanada.tv for bringing this uh, webcast uh, to the masses here and allowing fans who, who are not allowed in the gym here to watch the games. And uh, we feel your pain. We, I think we've all wanted to go to a few games that we haven't been able to. Sure enough. And, you know, it's, it's a pity with, with all the tournaments canceled. And, I mean, it's one thing for us in the lower mainland to be hurt by yes. it. But, but the teams in the interior and up north, I mean, goodness gracious. Well, I'm intrigued to see Duchess Park. Right. I mean, they got, they got the, the big kid, um, the, the brand new to the school, um, and they already had an outstanding team. But now they've got a post. I'm, I'm very excited to see them play. And normally, I think in, an, in a, a normal year, they would have traveled down to the mainland or the Fraser Valley multiple times. They were going to be at the Samara. They were going to be at uh, the Rich Goulet Classic. Uh, they were going to come here for uh, East Side Story. Oh, Curry passes it to Gladstone on the turnover. And the Gladiator, the chance to get within one or maybe even tie the game here with a three. Hare with the ball. Roland. Hare will oh. fire away from three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lord. He was at least three, four steps back from the three point line. That one had, he had to get a visa. He shot that from so <laughs> far away. Holy. Aztec. We have a tie game here at 43. Curry. Curls around, finding Carriage to the hoop. Great body control and finish. Nice. King George quickly back in the lead. Helmy. Gladstone will uh, reset here. Roll in. Roll in. Hands off the hair. Hair being very closely guarded by Curry. Harry, oh, oh, off oh. the mark there. Maybe trying to do too much on that play. 343 before the third quarter break. Zuluaga enters into Spano. Great find. It's going to be carriage oh. short. Offensive rebound and a score. And a foul. Although... His check is the player who ended up on the floor, still on the floor. Oh, yeah, he's hurt. I think he took it in the nose. So several of his teammates are surrounding him, along with the two coaches here for Gladstone. And we're also just waiting for confirmation as to who the foul is going against. I think it was a Gladstone foul, but we will see coming out mm -hmm. of this this break. Very unfortunate because I think it was uh, probably a wayward elbow after the shot had been made. So... It might, it might have even been a shoulder. Um, yeah. He, he was coming down. I, it was not intentional. No, that no. is for sure. So Helmy uh, dealing with, I think, a nosebleed at the at the very least. Yeah. And Karich will, will go to the foul line. And I think there's a bit of, there'll be a bit of a delay to just to wipe the floor here. Well, we'll be getting back to 
Getting back to play in just a moment here where we pick up a bit of sweat and a little bit of blood. I hope there's no tears. So. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I think They're one team will <laughs> have. Yes, indeed. Uh, despite this closely played, exciting game there, unfortunately, we'll have to be a loser. But the good thing is, of course, these two teams will be going on to the their respective zone championships, the Sea to Sky indeed. zone championships. It's too bad Howard isn't here with, uh, uh, first we had a movie, now we had a Canadian band, Blood, Sweat and Tears reference. There we go. <laughs> Being Howard, being such a fan of the average white band, <laughs> not oh my god, he's just so strong. Yeah, he, uh, it, you gotta love the intensity and the way he plays the game. But despite tying the game, uh, oh, King he George, made it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. So another uh, yeah. Gladstone player down. Hair. He took the big gamble going for the steal, left his man wide open, and what has he... Did he slip? I well, also, that is in the same area where uh, the previous Gladstone player, Helmy, had fallen to the floor. Mm. But uh, looks like he's okay here. Gets a handshake from Coach Kulich. Looks like he's indicating that his legs just went out from underneath him. So we may see a, another bit of a delay here as they may continue with uh, cleaning the floor here. Uh, Hare is sitting on the sitting on the bench, getting a uh, an ice bag here. They're just waiting to. To get the ball in play so that he can get him back into the game. He had to come up. He's had to sub out because the coach came out on the floor. Right. So we'll see what Gladstone can do on this offensive set without their leader. Down by seven now. Roland hits a screen, penetrates, steps back. Oh, goodness. What a pressure shot I, I, I really like that kid. He, he, he can play. Boy, oh boy. And now a quick foul by Roland. I think mostly that was probably just to allow his teammate to get back into the game. But they had one offensive possession without hair, and they scored. So that was probably as uh, good as you can get on that for Gladstone. Hayer back out on the floor, now on defense, working against Zuluaga. Aztec. Into the paint. Spano from outside. Does not go, but we've seen him hit the three. And Karich hitting that uh, ball out of bounds on that outlet pass. Time out. Time out. So we were tied at 43. Then King George went on a 7-0 run. Gladstone had a couple of players uh, go down, and uh, they managed to get two points back, so they're down 50 to 45 here. I guess we should take uh, the, the opportunity to thank another one of the Tupper Nation sponsors, Windsor Meats, Meat Men on Main Street since 1946. 4110 Main, pretty much the corner of King Edward and Main. Since 1946, opened by George Freeman, then passed the business on to his son Rick, and current owner is Connor Freeman, Rick's son. All in the family since 1946 for all your specialty meat cuts and needs. Our officials for this evening, Jay Villanueva and Gino Bondi. I was just thinking, with Family Day coming up, Valentine's Day coming up, just come down to this area of uh, oh. East Vancouver, and there's a whole bunch of things you can grab. I, I mentioned earlier that that Isabel Dunlop. I'm telling you, fellas, huh? <laughs> the, the, that special gal would really appreciate a gift certificate from Isabel Dunlop. 
4158 Main Street. One of Canada's premier designers. Featured in Vogue magazine a few years ago. So Hare seems to be okay running yep. the point for Gladstone. The coach's son. Roland. Hare. It's Tran fed inside the pass. Go up. Oh. Blocked oh. by King George. It's got to go up stronger than that. Oh, and boy. Now pass back to the end line out of bounds. That was a big, big stop. And that block coming from Kovacevic into the game for the first time. Hair with the steal. Oh, you got, oh, oh, oh. Fouled into the, the end wall, but looks like he's okay. Yeah. Hair for a shot is good. Of course, it'll be interesting to see what Gladstone can do without Spano in the game. Mm -hmm. He's been certainly one of the most dangerous players oh. here today. Uh, at both ends of the floor yeah. as well. So it's 50 to 47. It's a one possession game again. Gladstone has had to make several comebacks in this game. Oh, oh. I, I, Boy, I am a broken record. Boxing out. Goodness gracious. Not a body on him. So Kovacevic gets <sighs> the layup. Missed his shot, but Karic got the rebound and then found him on the cut. Again, Hare's court vision. And a beautiful pass. It's a uh, first shot is good for Gladstone. Second shot is good for Inami and Gladiators within three again, less than a minute to go. Palmer Curry. Inside handoff, the lay-in for Karic. A little too easy. Yep. Roland out to Hare. Roland. Hare steps into a three, a long oh. range shot, but the... I thought he was going to go for that board, but... <laughs> Didn't go for it. Shot out to Aztec. Oh, I don't know. I would have gone earlier. Cur it's Curry for three, stepping back, no good. Yeah. And again, uh, King One. George looked like they were certainly going to contest well for that rebound. Knocked out, and... Got mm. one second left. Hare will inbound. Pasqua. It's going to be strong from half court. Well, 54-49 after three. This is, this is all it for all the marbles this last quarter. In ten, in 10 minutes of court time, we will have a new city champion. Barring overtime. Barring overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I have a doctor's appointment <laughs> uh, no overtime well it's, uh, it's certainly been tough go for Gladstone they've just been trying to play catch up the whole game the whole game and, and, and that's always a tough situation and then as well you know how explosive King George is and in, in, in when they go on those runs, it, it, it really is discouraging. But the game is not over. 
And this is why we play the games. Some things to look out for. Uh, Spano for King George. Looks like he's back on the floor. And the opposing number eight, Helmy, also back on the floor. He was the one who had to go to the locker room to right. fix uh, his injured nose, his yeah. nosebleed. So looks like... He also came out with an ice pack on his head. So who knows? Well, we hope my this means he's fine yeah. to go. Oh, yeah. I know. I know my father wanted me to go to medical school. Oh, but, um, oh gee, I thought that. <laughs> Got the I, ball. I thought that was a miscommunication there. Oh, that that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah. That, 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 I don't think the spacing was quite right on that nah, one. That, that, that's threading the needle. <laughs> Big time. A lot of hands there. So again, I think Gladstone may be not taking advantage of that opportunity. Spano, oh, there's Spano. shot fake, throws a oh. shot up. Goodness. Tips a rebound off the underside of the backboard, but it's corralled by now, see, Gladstone. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, boy, that's an awful lot of contact. <laughs> when you dislodge a player, <laughs> I think that that might be a body foul. I'm not sure. Here we go. Five-point game. Gladstone trailing, but they have the ball here. In the hands of their star, Hayer. Another no-look pass down low, and a lay-in for Tran. Goodness, that is outstanding. What a joy it has been to watch these two teams play. And that last bucket really showing off why. And here's, yeah. here's another reason, Spano. Oh, goodness gracious. Where is the weak side rotation? Oh, my goodness. Gladstone with a horseshoe somewhere. Tell me, no good. Rebound. Boy. Tip to Aztec. Quick headman pass. Zuluaga short on the lay-in. Now Gladstone back the other way. Four defenders back for King George. Tell me. Roland, Helmy. Find hair. There he is. There he is. Oh, another no another look pass. Boy. How many of those has he thrown today? I'm. And and the great part about it is is that it almost on almost every occasion it's been a score. Yep. And he will inbound the ball. Oh, Tommy. For oh my goodness. Roland for three from the top of the three-point arc, and we are tied With again. a man in his face downtown. Oh, and he's going for the, oh, my goodness. He's getting after it. Aztec, foul line jumper, good. Here we go. It's like two heavyweights just bounding away at each other. So now Roland. Finds room, goes inside, the ball is loose, and Aztec oh. comes up with it. Jeez. Our injured player hesitated there. Uh, he, he could have he could have gotten after that one, I think. But you know, with the injury, he's probably, you know, questioning. And can King George build its lead again and a foul from behind? Now, this is another factor that I think is playing into the fact that Gladstone really, you know, they've got like a six-man rotation here, and they're getting tired, and King George just rolls through players. Ball oh. lobbed into play. Tran with a steal. Oh. Goodness. He, he knocked it off his own leg. Boy, I'm telling you. May, I'm, maybe I, a bit anxious, maybe it, a bit these thinking aren't my about teams. the bas basket. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't my teams, and this is driving me crazy. Man, oh, man. Oh, what a game. Two-point game, 7-15 left in regulation. Aztec on the wing. Zuluaga, Curry, Curry, jumper. Tipped out by Gladstone. Would somebody on Gladstone get somebody on their back? I know, now, Spano's a great player, and he's got an advantage over everybody out there for his size, but they got to box out. So another opportunity here for King George Curry. Karach 
Curry in the Spano. Spano. Good. Uh, oh my goodness. Good defense. Good defense. <laughs> and he still scores. Fantastic footwork on that young man. Four point lead for King George Gladstone. Cross court pass. Tran into the corner. It's Unami. Oh, goodness. Zuluaga gets the seal and does Rims not get the lay in. It rolls off the rim. There's, oh. Rolling no. short. It's a good shot. Just as I mentioned earlier, I mean, they're getting pretty tired. I mean, they're getting their legs underneath those shots. Like that would have gone just a couple of inches. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get his legs under it. They're tired, and yeah. it, it, it's a reality. They are tired. They're playing heavy, heavy minutes. And as well, I mean, we, we are dealing with this situation with Tommy and Hare, of course, being the two that King George are paying attention to them beyond belief. Yes. So, so, so that every time they have the ball, or whenever they're on offense, they're being chased and bumped and banged. So this is the last final six minutes, 18 seconds of the fourth quarter. It's a four-point game. Gladstone looking for that for that charge to really put him in the lead, yep. you know, for the first time. Yep. In a, gosh, I, I don't remember if they took the lead at the beginning. Yes, but it, it, it was 5-2 five, 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 yeah. in the beginning. Uh, that was, seems like that was a long time ago, it just based on how much... <laughs> yeah. The momentum has uh, gone back and forth. Uh, and then, unfortunately, they didn't score for the next six minutes after that. <laughs> that really put them in the hole for the first time it, in yep, the game. Yep. And again, the firepower of the Dragons. So some final instructions before the timeout from Gladstone head coach Ankar, Ankar Hare, former star at uh, nearby John Oliver Secondary School. Oh, goodness. I believe he was on the, the last Joker's boys team to make the Provincials. Oh, okay. Now, I'm old enough that it could <laughs> I could have been coaching <laughs> at that time. I know. Not uh, quite. Not quite. Well, Darko Kulik, he was playing when I was coaching. <laughs> um, Curry out to Spano. Oh. Steps into the elbow. Jumper just short. Rebound tipped. Nice shot. Nice shot. Just didn't go. Roland. Helmy. Now back to Hare to reset. Get the score and they're just... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh Helmy and Roland just not quite on the same page there. And... and you know, again, this, I think this is a bit of a problem. I mean, unless Tomi um, or Hare have the ball, um, everybody else is, it, they, they're looking to them. Their teammates are always looking to them. Right. Zuluaga, Spano. Karaj. Spano, offensive board. Tran trying for the block, but a foul called there. And can I say it for the 20th time? Boxing out for the Gladiators. Goodness. Spano first shot. No good. Short. So they've actually not been punished the last <laughs> few times they've <laughs> that made is a mistake. True. That is true. Spano second shot on the way. That one rattles home. That makes it five. That makes it tough. 5.15 to go in the... VSSAA championship game for 2A, 3A boys. Hare oh, oh, trying to oh, split the defense. Be a call. Yep. Smart move. Punishing on the body, but a smart move nonetheless. And again, this is, uh, you know, uh, for you younger players out there, this is, a, 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 you know, conditioning. You know, and... Your conditioning helps you prevent injuries. You, you've got to be strong. You've got to... A situation like this where the players, T Tommy and Hare, they got to play 40 minutes. You ha in, in order to be able to play the level at the highest level, you've got to be in supreme condition. And sleep. 
<laughs> Sleep. And throw that PlayStation away during the season. <laughs> or lock it up or whatever. Or whatever. It, oh, almost. Helmy regains control of the ball. Hair. Directing traffic. Oh, oh that's got to be some contact. No call, no bucket there for Gladstone. Inami unlucky there to get neither. Well, you know, oftentimes, you know, as an, as an old guy, what the referee will tell you there was he was out of control, coach. How can I call that? And back on the other end, Spano gets the loose ball and scores and earns himself another trip to the foul line. Once again, I like that young man. Can't get that shot to go. It's a seven point lead for King George. Skip oh. pass inside off of a foot and Spano comes out with a loose ball. And we saw this earlier, several times in the game. Gladstone ties it, and then King George able to go back out in front by multiple possessions. Zuluaga, Spano, hit a three earlier, and that time strong. And I'm not going to say it anymore. <laughs> An offensive board for King George. Curry. He's got to front him. He can't sit back on him Spano. like that. Back out to Curry, drives, looks to hand off inside Spano. Gets the score, and it's a nine-point lead for King George. This puts them in a bit of a bind. Hayer. It's going to be off his foot. Off yeah. his foot. And back to the game. <laughs> 3.19 to go in the fourth quarter. King George, great ability to fight off these Gladstone runs. Oh. Aztec, though, missing on that shot. And a rebound out of bounds. Oh, was Darko calling to you? Was yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> He looked up here for a I'm second. I'm not quite sure I'm, what was going on. I'm, I'm, I'm like that old grandfather <laughs> that everybody uh, uh, comes to. <laughs> Gladstone running out of time here. Helmy layup oh. does not go. Rebound. Looks like that was his teammate Inami getting to the ball first and drawing the foul. So Gladstone, the Gladiators will stop the clock. Timeout called by King George. Two forty nine to go in this senior boys two A three A championship game for the VSSAA. Live from Charles Tupper Secondary School. Thank you for joining us here. We've got uh, final few moments of this one and it should be uh, an exciting finish you wonder if Gladstone has one more run in them or whether King George will be finally able to put this team away it's been a tough tough fight from the beginning and uh, King George has led most of the way but it uh, has been tied on several occasions and Gladstone just simply hasn't been able to get over that hump once they've tied it it's the the horses, number one, I think, and uh, just just tired. Yeah. Because we certainly have not called very many names on this uh, Gladstone side. It's been, as you said, a six, five, six, seven person rotation. Uh, 
needed that one. Second shot on the way, that one good. Eight point game. It's not out of the question, but boy, it's gonna take a, a, a hurricane effort to be able to pull it off. My goodness. And no hurry for King George. No, they should milk this clock. 10 to shoot, Aztec still outside the perimeter. Spano yeah. will draw the foul. And again, for those younger players out there, that's all footwork, getting open like that. That is all footwork. First foul shot from Spano is good. Second shot, good as well. You might have heard in the background as well, Coach Kulich saying four and nine, do not leave four and nine. Referring to Gladstone's two star players, two best players here. Well, we've seen um, Zulaga here uh, face guarding Tomi over and over again tonight. He gets the steal and finds Aztec for the lay-in. So it looks like that will probably be it here in this um, game. You, you've got to think. I just can't. I just can't see it happening. Helmy, the lay-in will go. So Helmy injured earlier in the game, back in, and able to get his team back within ten. Defense up the floor. Spano nearly losing the ball, but finds Zuluaga. Curry, hands off to Zuluaga, eight to shoot, Zuluaga to the hoop, Ooh. finds Carriage, it's going to be an offensive foul against King George, they ran the clock down to three seconds, but Zuluaga was intending the pass I think all the way, but ran into his defender. Ran him right over. <laughs> <laughs> And that's uh, another stoppage in play with a player uh, who had Goodness. fallen onto the ground. Not a bad thing for King uh, for Gladstone, I don't think. No. Here, Roland will fire away for three. Ooh. No good, and the rebound into the corner and out of bounds. Karach, Curry, Zuluaga. They're going to extend the half here, the ball moving to all parts of that uh, half court here. Curry, 48 seconds left to go. Curry oh, inside oh. handoff. Spano gets possession, turns around strong on that jumper. Rebound tipped. To Inami, Hayer, no look pass, Tran with the lay-in. Once again. Oh, my goodness. That what kid can play. And now a quick foul by Gladstone. That is going to be fifth yeah. team foul against Gladstone. Two shots on the way, and first one goes down for Curry. Second shot on the way, good as well. So it's, again, a 10-point game, 33 seconds. seconds. Yeah, I think, oh, Tommy again. No. Roland missing the three. Beautiful, nice. Get up, get up. There we are. Hair, oh, goodness. strong on the lay-in. Tough contested shot after getting the pass from Helmy.
Timeout, Gladstone. Yet another timeout. But, you know, an important timeout as well. You know, you've got to, um, I mean, realistically, the game is over. But you've got to, as the coach, you've got to tell your players to keep your heads up. You know, you're disappointed. You've lost the city final. But hey, the, there's still sea to sky. There's still provincials. There's still a long way to go. They're looking at a possibility of seven more games. So, right. um, you know, um, and, and it's the whole, the idea of the disappointment. Mm -hmm. the, it, it's going to be there no matter what. Um, so, um, it's tough. And, you know, you, you the, these young men, the, they're, this would be the worst moment of their life, except for when their girlfriend <laughs> left them or they got a zit on the end of their nose before school one day. I don't know. But you want to you want to encourage and build that the right attitude and the right process. One of the things uh, I always tell the players in a situation like this: the sun's going to come up tomorrow morning. The sun's going to come up. First shot is good. Uh, I think King George was quite late coming out of their timeout. Yeah. So that's the second shot now, I believe. There that one go. goes down. Got Eight it. point lead for King George. Curry. Asked hack. And fouled from behind. Tran called for the foul. And we're going to see some players from the bench, in, or one of the players. They don't have very many. Yeah, uh, like McGee earlier uh, we saw today had, I think, eight players. Yeah. And it's a co COVID situation. I know one of the players from Tupper, um, he's, he, he got COVID during Christmas, and he hasn't played. It's February. He, he, he just doesn't have the energy to, yeah. to even practice. So I think that just illustrates the... <laughs> sort of the story behind the headlines of COVID. Right. 70-61, Hare will try his hand at a three. Rebounded by Spano, Zuluaga will pull the ball out. And we will crown the King George Dragons as the city champions for 2A, 3A, as they defeat the Gladstone Gladiators 70-61 here at Charles Tupper Secondary. We'd like to congratulate both teams, all the teams involved in the tournament throughout the week. And uh, Sport Canada, Harp Sohi, Paul Hughes, Alisa Wong, and Wilson Wong as well for coming in and enjoying this fine game this evening. As the two teams cheer, I uh, believe they're going to have a, a, a Small banner and trophy presentation. I think I think we're gonna keep it here for that as well. I believe. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? See what we can. <laughs> but uh, thank thanks again to everyone for watching and congratulations to King George and Gladstone. There's you know Gladstone season is not over. There'll be the top three A team out of Vancouver going to the Sea to Sky Zone Championships. Absolutely. King George will be the top 2A team and certainly one of the favorites to win uh, a provincial championship as uh, we head down that road to the LEC, which uh, will end in uh, mid-March at the provincials. Indeed. So we're going to sign off. I think we're going to uh, just keep the camera going here for the presentation, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks again here. Uh, w um, we're just going to say good night and thanks for joining us. So, uh
double zeros now, not just zeros. Thank you. 